going to school, like, did you have friends that were solid? Yeah, not really. You know, you'd, by the time you'd get to where you'd make some friends, you'd have to pack up and go to the next place. And a lot of places when we'd move into town, it's not like we were moving into some nice neighborhood with a nice school. You know, we lived in the, in the hood, you know, and went to those schools where, you know, kids in the hood go to school and yeah. they didn't really start integrating the schools there till like I want to say probably like the early 80s you know really yeah I mean so they were busing kids across town so whatever neighborhood you lived in they would you know they're trying to mix up all the neighborhoods and but you'd go on the playground and it felt like a penitentiary you know like all the black kids would be over here and all the Hispanic kids are over here and, and the white kids are over here and there were a lot of fights and a lot of things like that but it was all um, that was all just happening, you know. I remember we went down to Houston, Texas, and I was like a freshman in high school, and the school was predominantly African American, and it was just a different culture, gang culture, a lot of different stuff that was happening. You know, I remember walking into the first day of school, and um, there were like 15 people handcuffed in the cafeteria, and like the police were there, and there was like this huge fight, like gang fight, and. It was just a big experience for me being a 15 year old kid. It's like, okay, this is real, you know, like, God. better get your game together, you know. And, and then after that, I went to Laredo, Texas, which is on the border of Texas and Mexico, and it was predominantly Hispanic, Mexican. And um, so, and with the, the, then again, there, a lot of, you know, gang cartel, things like that. There was just a heavy environments to get thrown into at a young age to where you're the new kid in town and, um, uh, you know, a lot of a lot of guys want to start fights with the new guy in town as well, too. So it was a lot how, how of just... How did you kind of cope with that? Like, I'm just curious if that was sort of part of the cowboy life of, of everyone has to know how to fight. And... It was. It definitely was part of that, and especially those rough oil-filled towns. You know, first day, it's like you either go find the toughest something you can find and hit him right in the nose to... You know, just let people would know you do not that? to mess with you. Yeah, I would a couple of times. That's what my dad would tell me to do. You know, because <laughs> that, that was the fatherly advice. Yeah. Well, after a couple, you know, we'd move so much, and after I'd come home getting my ass kicked, he'd say, "You know what?" He said, "Next time we move, he said, you just go find the toughest guy you can find, and you just go whip his ass first day of school." And he said, "Nobody's gonna mess with you." And that was just kind of an environment, and you know, boys don't cry. You know, but they walk it off. That that whole mentality, and even. Uh, you know, the kind of women in my life, I remember treating me like that as well. Just like, you know, walk it off, you know. Let's go. Really? There was yeah. no sympathy. No, no one that's no. like, come here. Uh-uh, oh. no. It's like, get your shit together, we're going, you know. Hey folks, thanks for watching. If you like what you just saw, then why not subscribe? Click right here for lots more off camera. And if you want to see the hour long version of these conversations, I'm going to give you the secret link. Here it is, offcamera.com. Check it out.